Idaho. Hello. Okay. Scott, <laughs> you're holding us up. Okay. You're holding me up. Okay, we're going to continue on with our regular agenda, the Midcoast California Coastal Trail. Um, Len will give us a summary of the Trail Committee's work, goals and steps needed to complete the um, California Coastal Trail. Um, the outcome that we want this evening is to approve a letter to the County Parks Director and Supervisor Horsley with a recommendation for signing two distinct trail routes for segments between Pillar Point and Montero Lighthouse including a walkable coastline trail along or near the bluffs, in addition to a primarily bicycle route on local streets. And Len? Thank you, Laura. So I'm just going to give a, a quick recap of work by the uh, Coastal Trail Committee, next slide, which has been together since mid-2012 to now. Um, one of the offshoots that I'll mention of this uh, that came relatively early on is has really been undertaken by Lisa Ketchum, looking at coastal access, which is an allied part of the coastal trail. But uh, when we've done a lot of work on that. I'm not going to reprise that at all. Uh, this report and what I'll talk about will primarily deal with the area between Pillar Point Bluff and the Montero Lighthouse. What distinguishes this area is it is entirely on the west side of Highway 1, so it doesn't involve any need to cross Highway 1. I'll deal a little uh, briefly with uh, the land to the north of that at the end of this. The basic recommendations are that the goals of the committee are best met <coughs> by expanding the currently marked trail from Princeton to Fitzgerald Marine Reserve with two linked trails. And in particular, we, we've come to a transition point, I think as we're all aware, with regard to county parks, and it has moved from being an operation under the Department of Public Works to being its own uh, department with its own permanent director who was actually just installed as of this week. And county parks is the primary responsible agency for the definition and implementation of the coastal trail. We're also all aware that they're doing a major trail project at Devil's Slide, and we're looking forward to that being open in uh, early next year. Next slide. When the committee got together, one of its most and its singular goal was to have a specific interest in identifying a walking trail that provides closest access to the shoreline. That's perfectly aligned with what the goals for the coastal trail are, both defined at a state level and in the LCP for the mid coast. Next slide. Um, what happens to those coming to the section of the coastal trail I'm talking about, and really right at the midpoint of this is the Fitzgerald Marine Reserve. Is, as we all know, it's an area with great tide pools. People will come. It's well signed to get to that area. You can go down to the tide pools. And if you sit there and observe as people leave the tide pool area, there's a wonderful trail called the Dardanelle Trail. And as people get to it, they look at one sign that says Coastal Trail, which doesn't look very promising since it goes down Airport Street. <laughs> and then they're like these people right here. They say, well, what might we find there? Well, the truth is that there are a lot of great things that they could find there on the coastal trail. Next slide. If they can understand the signs that got them off of the highway <laughs> here, and then the coastal trail, and they can interpret signs like this that says that way or that way. It's really pretty tortuous. Next slide. But there are great views. You know, looking at the bluff immediately above the tide pools of the main part of Fitzgerald Marine Reserve, you have excellent views like this. Next slide. Walk a little ways and you can see the popular residence of seals always hanging out. Next slide. Go a little bit further north, you have continuing views of uh, the tide pools from Ocean Boulevard getting into the Seal Cove residential area. Next slide. And as you come toward the end, you have Pillar Point itself, great view of the bay walking down to the harbor. That's about a two mile trail. Some of you may remember about four months ago. I reprised a walk through it with about a two minute slideshow. It's terrific. It is nowhere. So let's go a little bit further. Suppose you want to go the other direction. Next slide. You can see the Montero Lighthouse. And on your way to the Montero Lighthouse, next slide, you can see the Balamar Bluffs right above Winky Cove. It's 
just a really exceptional view. So next slide. So what we have is a concept trail to present to the state, to the San Mateo County Parks. Now why taking this approach? For reasons, next slide, that I won't go into in terms of the background, but several years ago, the trail, which is published to the public in the process and got the agreement to, which goes all the way out to Hillary Point Marsh, uh, the trail was defined to go up Airport Street and to Fitzgerald on the route that singularly provides you no views of the coast. Uh, as the committee has talked about it, and I said from you know, when we defined our, our singular objective, we recognize that there's a very coastal walking trail right along here. Once you get to the trail and observe, here's the lighthouse. There are several exceptional views and some neighborhoods to go through. There's some really great opportunities. But <coughs> in, in stepping back and saying, where do we go from here, and looking at the writing process or where we're at, I, I really feel that it, it comes down to a communication process that can hopefully be set on the right path by connecting with county parks and their new director at the top to review it and basically try to go to the top level, which is, isn't this a great trail? It shouldn't be part of the county's contribution to the coastal trail along with things like the Devil's Slide. I feel if you get a discussion and a process at that level, you can make process as opposed to getting into very detailed and important questions about some of the steps along the way. But until the county park says, yeah, that's, that really should be part of the trail, which I believe they, they should be at a point of doing it. Certainly, I think they would want something like that to complement <coughs> the double slide trail that they put all sorts of effort into the north, that it, it, it's a step that I think they should be ready to take and we should open it up. So consequently, next slide. Uh, in looking at it, and I do just before coming to the recommendation, want to note that once you get to the lighthouse, and we've also talked about this several times, before you get to the portal, you have four times where you would have to cross Highway 1 to either follow the trail or to get to sites such as Great Bay of the Ontario State Beach. Three of those have been taken under by the county already as part of their uh, <coughs> uh, transportation study for safe crossings. And the third is uh, up in Montero State Park on the north end, or Montero, I'm sorry, Montero State Beach. And they'll have to deal with that. But until you get the, the safe crossings, you know, you're trying to work a lot on the trail is, is not a particularly fruitful venture, whereas the area we're talking about here is. So consequently, switch over. I brought to the council for consideration is just this singular letter to initiate a discussion with the new director of county parks to raise the issue and discuss how we might move forward productively toward getting the trail alignment that's been proposed here. That's, that's what I brought for consideration. Uh, certainly a lot of effort has been put on a draft of the details, but when I step back, I realize that until we have a good alignment with the parks that this is what should be part of the trail, I think we're arguing about a lot of detailed underpinnings, which are very important, uh, but not really in the position to make positive progress. So that's what I brought forward as All a right. recommendation in this letter. Thank you. Does anybody on the um, council have any questions for Lynn? Actually, I, when I read the letter, I'm, I'm fine with most of it. I just, uh, I thought when I first started to read it, one primarily for bicycles, um, at first I was thinking you were kind of including the uh, parallel trail, but now I realized, well, after I read it once or twice, that you're actually talking about the street trails. But if I was new to the county department and knowing that Nicholas just announced some <laughs> parallel trail stuff, I would maybe call that out, that these are local, not the, the parallel trail. No, I, I know, I saw the maps. No, no, the, no um, Other than that, I'm fine with it. Just. Yeah, that, I, I thought in including it there, it makes it clear what it is. Yeah. And I don't know if anybody else saw that, but I, I thought it could be clear. That's my own two cents. Okay. Any more questions for me? Yeah, no okay. question. So, I think it's really easy to see that years ahead, you know, there's going to be a lot of use of this trail. Uh, 
in addition to the opening of the tunnels, there's clearly a lot more traffic. Um, people on the trail are going to want to cross the highway regardless. And um, I'm wondering, in all the conversations you've had with community members, have others besides me wanted to re relook at possible undergrade crossings that would be 100% safe. Nobody would have to worry about their dog getting hit, themselves getting hit, their children getting hit, and uh, would not affect the traffic. Well, I don't want to minimize both the interest in that for certain people and where it sits as an option, but <clears throat> we already have you know, a product study underway for three safe crossings that are impacted by the coastal trail to get actually from here all the way to the south portal. And to me, until you have, I mean, that's, the council is already working on three of those, right? I mean, to bring things back to the community. They're uh, currently kind of working on the uh, No one can seven. hear you. What's that? <coughs> Uh, currently, the county is working on, uh, I believe it's seven pedestrian crossings throughout the mid coast. Which one of them tie into uh, th this project right here? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. I, I would need to have a, a street view yeah. a map. Uh, but we do believe that uh, you, you can make uh, at grade crossings, pedestrian crossings, you can make them uh, safe and uh, effective at getting people. Uh, very safely from one side of the highway to the other. Uh, and then that's why we're putting such an emphasis on this study. You know what, I'm going to pull this back in, Dan. I, I think like Len said, your comment's very important, but we need to stay focused on what it is that we have to take action on tonight, which is um, primarily the signage, if I'm fine. Well, it, it's the signage, but it, it's going from Pillar Point to the Montero Lighthouse. There are no highway crossings. Which leaves out all of the crossings. Right, all so there's no crossings there. Everything here is to the west of Highway 1. This is, this is the action I'm asking us to take tonight. And the project that Nicholas mentioned is, is looking at it. So there will be ample opportunity for people to comment and speak to it. Okay. Any other um, questions? Yeah. You and I can talk offline. All right. I'm going to open this to public comment. Is there anybody that would like to comment? Um, Dan, do you want to go? Are we going to have someone come to the podium? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's got it right here. Okay. Who's first? Uh, Carl. Um, by Carl May, uh, Moss Beach. Uh, by way of my background, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, I was in a group called Coast Walk and on their board for 17 years during the whole period where co coastal access uh, was partially transformed into a California coastal trail an official state project. And in the original uh, Prop 20 and um, ensuing documents, there had not been an official California Coastal Trail. Coastal access was a huge part of Prop 20 and uh, the Coastal Act and so forth. But there had not been an official trail. And Coast Walk was the main organization that pushed for having an official California Coastal Trail. Uh, we ran it through and end up, ended up getting, uh, some years later, after popularizing the idea uh, of a state legislator named Wes Chesbro to sort of carry this at the state level and to actually put into state law a California Coastal Trail. So I'm not new to the coastal trail business. <laughs> as the other members of the people who looked at this, this were. Uh, the coastal trail is only one part of coastal access. And you can have all kinds of other trails involved in coastal access. Uh, coastal trail, as a matter of fact, call, is what's called lateral access. And that runs along parallel to the shoreline rather than vertical access out to the shoreline. Uh, this. Uh, scheme that's worked out here is about the best, the yellow line on that for uh, the walkable or whatever you want to call it, coastal trail, is about the best route that can be achieved through a, a partially developed area. 
what we, what we see up there now. So uh, I'm entirely in favor of it. I, I'm not in favor of this scheme because of the uh, segment uh, for bicycles or whatever going up airport, airport road and continuing on through a segment that was put in the wrong place through Fitzgerald Marine Reserve. So I can't be in favor of what's being shown here. I am in favor of the brightest yellow line <laughs> along the coast. I think that that does as good a job as can be done given the development of the area and so forth uh, that we're dealing with. And in Montera, to the north of this, uh, whatever is done at this time is not going to be a long-lasting thing anyway as some changes are made in that town. So there, there can be an interim alignment there, but I probably won't have any problem with any of the alignments up in Montera as well. As far as the draft letter goes, I'd make a couple of suggestions based on what we're even seeing today uh, being done in the harbor area, which is gross overdevelopment of the trail itself. And in the, in the letter, uh, in this, what is the third paragraph, where it says, a walkable coastline trail along or near the bluffs, and then I would take out the word and and insert after bluffs on natural surfaces, but using local streets where necessary. And this is partly because the coastal trail, as it was originally conceived, and up to the time that it got taken over by a state agency with uh, big money in its eye, you know, a gleam in its eyes, uh, wasn't always intended to be a walking trail. And yet it had to be flexible because sometimes in s along, along sections of the California coast, it's going to have to be on the shoulder of a highway. Uh, it's going to have to be in all sorts of situations. You'll have to share things with bicycles. So it was never intended to be exclusively a walking trail. But that's the whole original concept of the coastal trail was to be a walking, hiking trail on the coast, and then sharing the trail with other sorts of things where possible. There are also places, especially up north, where the best route for the coastal trail much of the year will be along beautiful, broad beaches, but some of the year will need to be on an inland route. So therefore, you have to have a multi-threaded coastal trail in some places just because of the geography. That has been perm that has been changed through the years uh, and through a process where some state agencies look to spend an order of magnitude, literally, plus uh, m even more than that in places, two orders of magnitude, more money than, ne than is necessary for the California Coastal Trail. Carl, I have to... Yeah, okay. So... Uh, You're always fascinating with your history. Yes. So, anyway... Uh, I would put along or near the bluffs, take out the word and, and put in on natural surfaces, but using local streets where necessary. Have you got that? Yeah. Okay. The only, that's a suggestion. Okay. The okay. only other suggestion I have is to, in the next paragraph, to take out in the last line the word current and put in the word existing. Existing patterns of use. Current. Okay, okay, thank you. Existing. Take out current. Take out current. current. <clears throat> um, yeah, both of those changes are fine with me. Fine with me. Mm -hmm. Same here. Okay. I'll go for one with it. Four. Five. All right. Okay. Dave Olson, Montera. Um, I was on the Coastal Trail Committee with Len. Um, I definitely support this idea of getting this to the parks department, uh, especially since there's a brand new director. Um, and I think we're all agreed that this general trail layout is nearly ideal and focusing on this segment that can be largely on natural uh, trail and doesn't cross the highway is a great idea and, and get this done and then move on to the rest. And I do agree with Carl that emphasizing natural surface is a really good idea given some of the past history. Thank you, Dave. Leonard Warren, Algrada. Um, I uh, also want to support 
Carl's comments, and, and I think his suggestions for changes to the letter are good. Um, and you know, I really want to emphasize that we should not be ridiculously overbuilding these things like the uh, insult that was done at the Dardanelle Trail. Uh, that's just insanity, and let's not do that again. Um, and uh, you know, it seems to me that I have a long-standing request, dating back at least two years, to be involved with the Coastal Trail Committee. And uh, I don't know how Dave got involved without me even hearing about uh, that. You know, again, I've been excluded, and I've been raising this point over and over and over again that the council members involved are are just going way out of their way to exclude me from involvement in the, the Coastal Trail Committee meetings. And I, I, I just think that's not appropriate, and you need to fix whatever is broken in your process. And uh, I have one last comment on the letter. If I was sitting at the council, I would vote no to send it. Why? Because the font size is too small. <laughs> OK? The minimum acceptable font size, seriously, I am dead serious about this. The minimum acceptable font size is the one that's used in the text of the agenda items on the printed agenda. This is way too small. Okay. All right. oh, in the back. In the back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's for the camera. Otherwise, no one can hear you. <laughs> I'm like, I got a big mouth if I need to. But anyways, um, okay, so I just have two quick questions. Um, the first is because, once again, my apologies for not knowing some basic information. But the first is who maintains these trails? And then the second is I'm assuming that there would be, um, the hope is that there will be additional bodies using it. And so what do you think the impact will be in terms of um, potential pollution, in terms of like just trash or you know, just basically uh, an increase in bodies on, you know, w within the area. The, the responsibility for maintaining the coastal trail is uh, San Mateo County Parks. And then what about It is hard to rate the impact here of, of the increase in traffic at this point. Um, so I can't, I mean, there, there's no indication, especially given the constraints on parking, that you're, you're looking at a, a real huge amount of, of increase, although you certainly are, you know, probably on the bluffs. I mean, many people who are not local just really don't know how to get there, which is, you know, what the signage is about. Thank you. Bill Murray from Montera. And... Uh, Actually, my question is in uh, uh, regards to bicycle usage, and uh, it, it may not, uh, it may be out of the scope of, of this letter, but um, the, the yellow line, I'm not sure, it is a, a difficult uh, place to bike on there. The orange um, uh, area, the orange line, as a bike path, um, I think that is the official bike route, but um, it is, uh, I don't know if it's been discussed before, but the area, especially north of Pillar Ridge to Moss Beach is a very, um, there, there's no bike lane whatsoever um, on that stretch of the road. So myself as a cyclist, even if I go that way, I'll, I'll choose Highway 1 even with the increased traffic because the, the shoulder is wider um, than taking the bike route, which is, uh, uh, especially when it's dark out uh, or, or, you know. I so. think that, that's, a, that's a good comment. Uh, the county has, especially as they look at that as possibly the singular coastal trail, has looked for projects to provide a major trail along there, and I think that the whole route would be better served, as you're suggesting, by a project that would widen the shoulders more acceptably for bicycle use. Yeah, there's plenty of room on both sides. There's just a gravel area on both sides of the road there that I often... Uh, revert to, to riding through the gravel as cars uh, yeah. go by, but it um, seems and it, yeah, yeah, it's like an appropriate spot for a, a, a bike lane, if indeed. Yeah, and it's my, my feeling by doing this, one could just put direct attention on that and uh, and remove projects that are, well, can't we get sure. a better trailer? Yeah, maybe highlight <clears> that <throat> issue. Where and how would we address that? Well, the, the thought, I mean, there, <clears throat> there, are, there are several important details along here, mm -hmm. and the thought is because we, we really don't have what I would call the high conceptual agreement of, oh, okay. uh, to, to work yeah. with them, that once you had those, those could come up. Um, at, at different times, I've sought to go into discussions of 
any number of details here, which generally puts the larger audience to sleep. Um, <laughs> not that they don't think it's important, but, but really at the council level, I, I felt it was important to give attention to this, you know, once in a at least term of office uh, opportunity to connect directly with the, the new director and, and try to press the point there. Because I think if, if you get alignment, certainly when we did the, the first portion, I mean, while people may not be satisfied with it in, in detail at various parts, it was a collaborative effort. You know, we, we walked each different stretch with county people and looked at it. Mm -hmm. So I think this is trying to return to that approach. So with Bill's comment that we're saying, you know, several people here agree, uh, would that, like, for example, come out of the Coastal Trail Committee? I mean, I'm just not trying to figure well, out where that fits into the so process. Just to give a couple of examples, I, I think, you know, where it would come, if, if you were to look at, I don't know where you immediately deal with, let's say, three problems. Uh, two, private, well, private parcel, an airfield, and then the Coastal Trail cases you have to take action steps and I don't want to go what they are but you have to address it I feel but those are probably the, the key things to just to get through this part here over here to me the statement would be in a simple form that the recommendation would be to consider it as a bicycle alternative and to ask DPW to put in adequate shoulders period <laughs> and indicate now another thing that does come up in the county often especially as you go up through this part of they have a program they call Complete Streets. So as you bring in something important like the Coastal Trail, you have to consider whether it meets certain road standards. It might be for sidewalks or certain other things, depending on where you are. But the, the approach that we took to get it from around the sewer up to here was really one of signage to at least mm -hmm. give people clear signs. Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, I showed a few examples. And, and even the signing efforts to get here show you both some of the positive results you can get some of the problems. So really it's just to make clear where you are. Didn't we send a letter? You know what asking? I need to do? Hold on, hold on. I, oh, I spoke out of turn. Oh, okay. So let me bring this back to the public and finish there, and mm -hmm. then we'll come back to the council. Okay. Um, Nicholas? Maybe he has the answer. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can speak into both of them if you want. Uh, okay. uh, my first question Nicholas, Supervisor Morris's office. Uh, my first question is, does the proposed route, does the proposed route use Ocean Boulevard? It does not use the abandoned portion of Ocean Boulevard. Okay. And second, is this proposal coming from the entire Mid-Coast uh, Community Council subcommittee on the Coastal Trail? Are you bringing this forward on your behalf? I know. Dave said he supports it, but is this something that the full committee uh, determined that they wanted to bring forward? And if so, what type of outreach went into this plan? The, this is the, from, from the first uh, meeting of the committee, the alignment that was of interest there. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the outreach, that's exactly one of the reasons to go to the county parks first, to get agreement on alignment with the concept because it's hard for us to envision how we would go to the community if you're talking about an alignment that is not really considered appropriate by parks. So in other words, you know, the, the process you're talking about is an appropriate outreach really through Seal Cove and West Moss Beach for this area here, you know, where you do it. And that's certainly something we'd organize. I, I've talked with them about how to do it but, but I really felt that we had to have agreement on what we were trying to do first. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Who, oh, Carl. Carl. I'd like to point out that Len has boiled this down to the California Coastal Trail. This is an official state trail. It's going to be continuous from border to border. It is not necessarily the only trail through our area. And in fact, one of the reasons why I get so angry at what the, uh, some of the current forces, and it, certainly including the county, are doing is that we also have a state-long bicycle trail, the Pacific Coast Bike Route. And this obviates. It, it removes the concern about having bike routes 
as part of the coastal trail because this trail already exists. This Pacific Coast bike route, it was part of the bicentennial bike route down the entire California coast. And it is the responsibility of Caltrans to maintain that bike route. So it's not the responsibility of a California coastal trail group to create bike routes. We've already got one on the California coast. Uh, the other thing I'd point out is that Len has boiled this down to the California Coastal Trail. That doesn't mean we're not going to have other trails on our coast side. And for, for one thing, a lot of us have wanted what we're calling the parallel trail or whatever, parallel to Highway 1, as, you know, but, but separated from Highway 1. Not on a wide shoulder, but there's plenty of room on the right-of-way to have yet another fast way to get from community to community without a car. You know, this this does, is not a suggestion to do something instead of having that other thing. That other thing can well exist. You know, this, is, this isn't denying that, uh, for other forms of non-vehicular uh, transportation on the coast side. Thank you, Carl. Is there anyone else who would like to comment? If not, I'm going to close um, public comment and bring this back to the council. Do I have a motion? I move approval of the draft letter as amended. Do I have a second? I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. So it passes with full support. I had a good joke. Okay. I won't remember. We're now going to move on to council activity, which is correspondence received and meetings attended. Does anyone like to comment? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I wanted to report on, uh, we had written a memo in September, I think, to planning about the bloodlighting on the beach from uh, restaurants in uh, Miramar and Moss Beach. And uh, county deputy plan, deputy... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, the planning department deputy director, Steve Monowitz, reports that the two Miramar and Moss Beach restaurants are in violation of their use permits and will be required to remove their beach floodlights. Um, the Surfers Beach erosion meeting on November 8th at Oceana Hotel, uh, this is the Army Corps uh, reviewed their ongoing planning phase for a possible project to mitigate for the erosion effects of the harbor breakwater. Um, uh, several of us attended that. Uh, they have, there have been many delays over the last four years with not much new to report. They did say that even if they eventually approve a mitigation project, it would probably be modest in scope due to funding limitations and would not happen before 2017 at the earliest. Uh, Devil Slide Task Force met Yesterday, uh, the trail construction, the actual construction is to begin on December 2nd. The target trail opening date is March 22nd. The task force will now morph into a committee to plan an opening event. Uh, Christina Carey of the Parks Conservancy was there and she reported that the area parking study that they've been working on uh, it will cover from Pedro Point south to El Granada, and the draft would be ready uh, by February or March. Did Bill, did you have anything to add to that? No, that's it. I mean, that's all I remember. That's all I have. Anyone else? And we'll move on to committee reports and continuing business. Nothing there. We'll move on to future agendas. Uh, we have got on December 11th, new council uh, members swearing in and election of officers. Okay. Nicholas is so, gone. Yes. What are we going to do about the various issues where we oh, might comment yes. that would go under either future agendas I'm sorry, you or something? What you said about the what? We, well, we touched on everything from uh, LAFCO uh, application, Sam's Crossing, uh, the recommendations, for recommendations the in various oh, places. Oh, for the planning commission. Is that worth The list got so long I lost sure, track of sure it. Do, uh, do we need a special meeting? Okay, well, we had talked about the um, appointment to the working group. And when we talked this morning, he had said that we could wait until the 11th. But that one was right, not that time sensitive. That's not what we're talking about. He no. didn't mention that tonight. Yeah. What he asked for was a letter of support right. to the Board of Supervisors right. on December 10th. 
All of these are on December 10th. the Moss Beach Park. Right. And he also asked for a. Uh, so this is part oh, for the. So together there. There was the transportation plan. There yeah, was the, uh, the parallel trail, and the crossing. Well, and do we want to comment on the crossing? It seems. The, there's time for uh, the letter on the parallel trail. That's going to be Correct. in January. Mm -hmm. What we need is. Um, Okay, the one on the parks, we said that we were just, we've already voted on it, so all we're going to do is add some verbiage to the current one that we already sent that was very brief. Um, so that was my you're, understanding. You're going to write some additional no, words. No, I'm not going to write, um, but I thought will. someone else here might. Yes, Lisa. Lisa's there, right? Lisa, now, yeah, but was, he said somebody could go to the Board of Supervisors. Yeah, you can do that. Support on the Moss Beach Park. Oh, There's, so you, we got to be. So can we pull it back in here? So it's okay. Let's start with number one. Number one is parks. Most, most okay, Moss Beach Park. Park. And what we've decided is that Lisa is going to embellish the letter that we all already gave. Support. Well, we haven't. We haven't decided. We haven't discussed it yet. And so, uh, and I would have some issues as to like, is that going to involve the county actually coming up with the neighborhoods parks plan, or is this a, just a one-off? They're going to do that one. I mean, it, it begets a whole bunch of questions that. Um, Supervisor Horsey made a bunch of promises at Fairline View. Um, our letter was just very short and succinct to do something about the immediate tax uh, liability of that and nothing about the overall process of managing parks in the unincorporated mid coast, which is what you're getting at. Yeah, look at the Planning Commission um, agenda. I, I did. This, oh, okay. I thought it was pretty specific. Am I no. remembering wrong? It's only, it's only for this one park. Um, but it doesn't go into any detail. Well, it has a discussion about alignment to the county's overall right. plans. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. It's going to come to the planning commission, but he said the important place was when it comes to the board of supervisors. Which was on the 10th. That's on December 10th. Which is. And somebody could go and speak at the hearing and say, Midwest Council supports this, as we've already said. Okay. That could be done. Um, so. Okay, and the other item that we need to get you're, done. You're, you're glossing over a couple points here. <laughs> Go ahead. No, we're the getting point tired. You're glossing over what those bringing up, and I we did not ask Nicholas about it. I was it's, waiting for you to comment on this. This was part of an overall effort relating to community parks. And did no, no clarification was provided on exactly how it's being done. So we're, we're really not in a good position to know how to comment on it ourselves or a letter and furthermore the county might the, the community might have comment um, and, and i think our, our choice from my perspective is either you would have to meet about it or i think we'd be in a position where it'd be hard to say much about it effectively other than moss beach park but we don't know what else is intended that's all that's in the staff report is moss beach park whether fire can someone, you all have computers. Could someone pull that up? No, we, well, we I don't know. It's no, no Wi Fi. There's oh. no connection. Yeah, it is not. Yeah. The, the most beach park is. But we're going to stop it. <laughs> no, it's not that we're necessarily going to stop it, but I'll, I'll have you know that at uh, the meeting that uh, Lisa and I were at for the, um, for the uh, Highway One Devil Slide <clears throat> uh, uh, Park is, and this is the second or third time <clears throat> the Supervisor Horsley has brought this up, is he keeps telling them to keep some of that new surfacing stuff that they're going to use on the roadway for Moss Beach Park. And, you know, I, I always get a little bit leery when the county wants to put down some kind of paving in a park. So, you know, it'd be nice to have details as to when they take it over what they're going to be doing with it. It's a coating to go over. It is a coding. Okay, yeah. wait, let's not go down and, that road. And that's, right and that's, now, that's a Moss good Beach question. Park. Yes, that's what is it? It's for Moss Beach Park. I understand, but I don't think that's what we're voting on, is coding in Moss Beach Park. I mean, that's not what we want to com communicate to the Board of Supervisors is about no, the coding. No, I'm just trying to reassure him. I understand that. I'm just trying I, to bring the, this in I so actually, we can go home I actually saw the coding here, but where is it, you know, just how much of that is going to be coded? I mean, most people don't think of parks <laughs> no as coding. coding. No coding. Stop now. Okay. <laughs> What, we're gonna, what we have to know, okay, is whether we're going to support 
writing this letter from here because we already sent one. And what I'm hearing is two individuals do not. They feel like there's other issues that would not be addressed. No, just raise things that we should discuss. Not I mean, we, we can recognize it and then say what we're going to do. We shouldn't just We don't want a blanket support. I, I think what we support is the acquisition of Moss Beach Park. That's what he's asking for, it's plain and simple. What we have no assurance on is overall plans, and since I have seen the county make changes within two days of the meeting or three days of the meeting, you know, we didn't, unfortunately, didn't ask Nicholas anything about this. I mean, so that, those are things we don't know, but you can't, you know. So our letter can state directly the support for Moss Beach Park, you know, recognize that other things may happen. And we're, okay, we're so we want to have a special meeting. I mean, I don't see any other way around that. Not right now. Not, just give me a second. Let's see what they want, and then we'll ask. Go ahead. The Planning Commission is going to consider this on consent. Right. And following that, the Board of Supervisors will consider it. And we have been asked to support it. And I, I will assume this, and Don has told us, or Nicholas reported, that the uh, acquisition of the park saving of the park is on track to be completed by year end. And I assume that's what this is. And uh, if you want to wait until the staff report is released to make sure there is nothing, no other language in there, then we could do that. I just don't think it's necessary. I well, just, it's like, why would they have all that? And we haven't heard about it yet. Why is the planning commission, I mean, the parks commission there? I don't know. I, just, just, I think you're overthinking this. Yeah, I think you're going back to that whole issue about his comments about how it would impact the rest of the parks on the coast side. Well, uh, but more fundamentally for the Planning Commission meeting, uh, the issue I think we, we should speak to is whether we want to pass on an opportunity to, do, to uh, comment on the Sam's crossing, or the Sam's... Uh, well, could we finish one coming? first? <laughs> well, they're, they're about the same meeting, sure, go ahead. Oh, so they're different items, so let's do one item at a time. Yeah, let's do one at a time. Okay. One at a time. Okay, well, acquisition of Moss Beach Park. If you are not comfortable right now saying that um, you support what the um, Planning Commission is saying to the Board of Supervisors, basically, or would you say that we support it to the Board of Supervisors, then we have to either meet in a special meeting or we all agree that we are comfortable with that. That's our only two options. Unless I'm missing one and I'm certainly open. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the staff report will come out and it, you know, it adds more light on this other issue to bring it up then. I mean, as a separate issue. I mean, what we know, we're fine. I just think that if this item is on consent and there's been a huge groundswell of asking the county <laughs> to do this and we said, yes, we support this, what could there be there that we would you pull that know, off consent? You never know until you read it, Lisa. Yeah, you never know. So, I could bring There's up, I could bring up something if you really want to know. Okay, well, let's not. Let's just stick <laughs> with this, okay? Uh, I want to know what that dump of debris is okay. just outside the park Stop. fence that's been Stop. there for a month and a half no. since uh, Supervisor no, Horsley handed it over to uh, right his now. merry little band of parksters. Okay, right now, let's, know. let's stick to this. So, how do we want to handle this? Should we do, vote on? Um, if you could make a motion. Yeah. Come on, Lisa. I move that we... Send a council member to the Board of Supervisors meeting on 12-10 in support of the Moss acquisition of Moss Beach Park. County acquisition of Moss Beach Park. Second. Let's discuss this. I, I think we should. Yeah, it will, We've just been discussing no, this. No, no. We it's this, this, discussion. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking a vote. And no. then we can decide after we take the vote. No. But I said we we, how, well, well, how can we, how can we right. take, how can we a, take vote a vote on this and, and then decide afterwards? What? Hello? They <laughs> I'm ran confused. out of coffee. What can I say? Actually, they brought some more out if you want to oh, start chugging it. but <laughs> Someone else comment, please. But we need well, to really wrap this up. My, my comment was on. to vote for it because if later items that come forward, either on the Planning Commission full staff report, or to the supervisors and we want to comment on it, we can't ask for a special meeting, but we, we don't have anything else before us to comment on, so yeah. that's our opportunity. We don't have a whole picture. If we see something else come forward that raises concerns, we would have to ask for a special meeting. Yeah, but we could decide now that it... What we're deciding now is just to vote on Lost yeah. Beach Park for its acquisition, which I'm so in favor we, of. That's the, okay, so we call so, vote. 
So can I, can I add something to, if you're gonna send someone to the Board of Supervisors in support of Moss Beach Park, I think it has to be clear that we're in support of the county purchasing the park so that Moss Beach Park will not have to be paying taxes. But that does not necessarily mean we support what they may do with the park until we can see a plan for what they plan to do with the park. Okay, first off, we cannot vote on something that's not on the agenda. Right. That is a problem. I, Leonard will tell us how to make it an emergency I think, item. I don't think we should add that. I, I, I'm against that. We voted at our meeting in August to support that this was the utmost importance yes. for the county to reverse the sale and acquire the park. And I think we should go to the Board of Supervisors and say, yes, we support you acquiring this park. And that was the intent of my motion. That's what I second. And I don't think it should be clouded with any kind of conditions about future planning for the park process. Leonard, would you speak to us about emergency? Uh, <sighs> unless everybody this here agrees with what future. we said. This is but one second, don't speak yet, Leonard. Um, does everybody agree with that or no? With what? Can with we what you just said. Vote? Can we just vote? I can't do this. I can't vote on something that's not on the agenda. It's well. Then why don't we just go home now? <laughs> it's okay. With me. We're, we're just trying to reach collegial agreement. Yes. Yeah. Because the council didn't hear about it until Nicholas spoke at the beginning of the meeting. It it meets one of the two findings that you have to make, which is that it came to the attention of the council after the agenda was posted and the other finding that you need to make also seems pretty easy that uh, action is required before the next regular council meeting and since the council doesn't have a second regular meeting in November or December for a decade or more uh, I think you can make a motion to, to make the two findings now, since there's only five of you here and it's a seven member council it's going to have to be unanimous Six member council. It's a seven member council, I'm sorry. By law, it's a seven member council. It doesn't matter that there's a vacancy. Um, it requires a two thirds vote. What's two thirds of seven? I can't do that one in my head. Um, uh, but uh, I, I think that, that the item that you should add to the agenda is the simple question of uh, uh, authorizing the chair to go uh, represent the uh, council's position to the board of supervisors or somebody else that the chair designates. Thank you. <laughs> and, and that would be my suggestion, is to make the two findings, to add it to the agenda, and then just vote on the real simple thing of authorizing someone to go represent the council's position to the Board of Supervisors. All right, I like that. And be, hold on, come back, come back, come back. Since you have the verbiage right on the tip of your tongue. Um, okay, the suggested motion is, uh, uh, I move that we find that this item came to the attention of the council after the agenda was prepared and requires action before the next regular meeting of the council. That includes all of my necessary verbiage? Um, that's to make findings to add it to the agenda. Then you still have to handle the agenda item after you've added it. So it's currently added, correct? No, you had to make no, a motion. No, somebody has to make the motion I suggested and then you have to I'm the chair, I shouldn't make I a motion. I so move. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second that. All right, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so we now have an emergency item, correct? We have yes. Two. No, it's an urgency two item. Two urgency items. Two urgency items. Okay, so. That Nicholas brought us one commenting on Moss Beach Park and the other com uh, supporting the transportation management plan. Let's begin with Moss Beach Park, and can I have a motion? I move we support the Board of Supervisors' decision to acquire, for the county to acquire Moss Beach Park. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Wait, doesn't the motion need to be to, to authorize someone? We can send a letter or we can go, either way. It's to support what they're it saying. It should be explicit. Well, so what do you want to do? Somebody want to go? <laughs> Too tired. Someone goes holding a letter. Somebody make that motion. As a chair, I shouldn't do it, so somebody please do it. I make a motion that uh, 
Do I see anybody who wants to write a letter? He's going to say it, and you just repeat after. Go no, ahead, but, Leonard. But, 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 what? I make we said a, Leonard or uh, letter I, or show up. I make a motion that uh, someone from uh, that the chair designates someone from the council to either write a letter or attend the board of supervisors meeting on December 10th to support the purchase of Moore Speech Park by the board of Super by the county. Uh, do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So the chair does not have to designate right this moment, does she? I don't or care. he? <laughs> okay. Don't Carol will do that later when <laughs> she's awake. Okay, now we have the, uh, transportation, transportation. plan recommendation. Same board of supervisors meeting. They want support. What did they want support? They on? want support to request five hundred thousand dollars to fund the transportation. You don't need to write this down. Thank transportation you. Transportation management plan. Horsey and Grill will sponsor agenda item requesting 500K to fund transmission management plan on December 10. They want MCC support or could send someone to speak at the, at the hearings. It's the same thing. A All right, so we just plug in that. Okay, so may I have a motion? Okay. So just to make sure we do it right there, we would need to. We would need to make the, find, the, the findings again. Added to the same finding statement? Or do we need I thought we already one? did. I thought so we had two. as an urgency item the uh, request to support the transportation management plan of the supervisors uh, it will occur we just learned about it tonight and it will come before the board of supervisors before our next regular meeting do i have a second i'll second that and all those in favor aye, aye. aye. can we get a receipt I move <laughs> third I identify item? someone to write a letter of support for the transportation management plan at the next Board of Supervisors meeting on December 11th. Could it be the same thing? Chair appoint someone to write a letter or attend? Good I made a motion, that's what I'd say. I heard that motion and I second it. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. okay, so that takes care of those two. Wasn't there a third? Next the third question. was Schoenstein and, uh, and the left hand turn lane, right? Oh, yes, yes. Do we care to comment on the it's not a left turn lane, it's a two-way turn lane. I haven't seen the staff report. Don't know. Uh, we, we did write a letter about that. Yes, yeah. yes, we did comment. Yeah, that gets I a little bit more. We not see anything until we see the staff report. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Okay, so no action so, on that's that. Got so, no, as we're sitting here all visually, uh, <laughs> what do we want to do? Are, if, if we have concerns after seeing the staff report, are people interested in an emergency meeting on the weekend or? How about individuals can go with their concerns? We just leave it to individuals. I think so yeah. because the council as a whole has commented already. Um, do we want However, we have not seen the staff report when we commented. That's correct. I, would be op I would actually be open to a special meeting on that one because there's a lot of um, problems with that. A report should come out tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, does it come out that quick? So we, we, okay. should, we should read that one over because if they're not eliminating parking on the east side of Highway 1, it's just going to make it more difficult. Okay, well, here's the thing. So what you're saying is that you want to have, if you see something of concern in that staff report, you want an emergency meeting. Uh, I would be open to that if, other, if we can get a majority of council members, sure. That would be a special meeting. I know, I know. But I know, a special meeting. Right, right now it feels like it would be an emergency meeting. <laughs> Well, we're okay. just communicating about this, right? We're, we're not taking action, we're just communicating. Right, we're just communicating about it. Well, we sort of have to decide. I mean, unless you want to say, because somebody has to let me know that they have concerns if I'm going to call a um, sure. special meeting. You well, know what I'm saying? I will be in town on Saturday and not for the following three days, so if we want an emergency meeting, it would have to be on Saturday. Well, okay. we'll do a what are the rules around calling an emergency meeting? We can do it. 24 hours. Okay. No, 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 special meeting. I just used the wrong word, but for, well, I'm trying to figure out. You just have to post it 24 hours in advance, and the chair can call it, or formally the council can call it. Okay, so council members, if you read that staff report and you feel you the council needs to address it, ring me up, and um, we can talk about setting up a special meeting. 
no emergency meetings for us. Okay. Have we? Um, I think we've exhausted all possibilities of having any more, more productive stuff this we evening. Have a motion to adjourn. I think um, we have a motion to adjourn. Thank you all for staying to the bitter end. Really, you get like awards. <laughs> <laughs> and to the new and to the new council members.